Well, howdy there, everybody. How you doing today? Today, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the blood dragons because I think that they are really cool vampire people. And I decided that I was going to make uh, Gracia, Gracia Vitali, you know, one of the three sisters I keep talking about, although there's actually more than three, but you know, Khadija, Yamina, and uh, Gracia are probably the three I talk about the most. And I just thought it would be cool because I uh, to make her and she was kind of like a swashbuckling swordsman type. So I thought, you know, witch hunter, witch hunter kind of fits that a little bit. I mean, because I get a gun. That's big. Look at the size of that honking gun, by the way. It's a honker there, baby. That's a that's a, that's a club and a gun mixed together. And that's pretty cool. And she has a cool rapier, which is usually the sword I imagine Grecia using that or like a kind of like a cavalry saber. And look, she's, see, she's got the flourishes. And real quick, I just want to see if I type in special. What is that? Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, that's not what I was expecting when I typed in special. Why do you have that? Oh, maybe I'm going to add a thing now where Gracie has a secret uh, love of puppets and puppetry. I think that would be fun. Anyway, let's get started here and uh, we'll get talking about blood dragons. Blood dragons are probably my favorite um, vampire, I guess, clan or archetype in uh, Warhammer Fantasy. Basically, before I get into all the details about what they are, is just imagine, um, you know, like how there's like knights and stuff in Warhammer and they try to be all knightly and things like that. It's that, but now they're vampires, so they get to be spooky knights. And to me, spooky knights, that's pretty cool. That reminds me of... Uh... Bang! Various different games I've played, like uh, Medieval. Medieval, where you get to play like the Skeleton Nightman. I think that's pretty cool. That does not do very much damage. I, would, I don't know why. I guess I just expected it to do a little bit more damage than that. But you know, hey, we'll we'll take what we can get around here. The Northern Host comes for me? I don't think so, because I got a cool rape here, and that goes straight into your man meats. Look at all your man meat right there. Did you think I couldn't stab it? But anyway... Uh, and I'll just read a little bit from my notes here. Blood, dra Blood Dragons, formerly known as the Order of the Blood Dragons and Ordo Draconis, were a fearsome order of vampire blood knights known for their peerless martial prowess in battle. They were consummate warriors whose skill at arms was unmatched in the old world, living only for combat, usually fighting from horseback. The Blood Dragons sometimes fought on foot and were masters of all forms of weapons and tactics, though they eschewed cowardly ranged weapons and magic. Although they would at times use their innate, though poorly developed, abilities in necromancy to raise undead servants. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I just I just re really enjoy that aesthetic there. Just like this huge dude just like comes in like with blood red armor, and then is like, hey yo, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a smack that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a smack, oh cool, I got gloves now, I'm a smack that, and he says that, and then he just has like a big sword, and he just runs at you, and or like, you know, rides on his horse toward, till he gets to you, and then he just beats you up with his big sword or whatever, and he has like honor about him, so he just like, absolutely stomps on you, he's like, yo dog, you wanna, you wanna go recover for later or something, I don't know, just something, something about that is very appealing to me, especially when I phrase it in that kind of, sort of silly way. I just want to see, if I just open this door, does that... It does not trigger him. Okay, I can't just... Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, I like how he just kind of looked at me right before I uh, started hitting him. And then... Blood Dragon Vampires were one of the most well-disguised bloodlines in the old world. For... In the war-torn lands of the known world, the vampires could easily hide among knightly orders or distant outposts. They would feed when they could while avoiding detection and using their disguise to find opportunities to test their skills in battle. Living only for combat, the attainment of honor, and the thrill of conflict in a dark parody of the virtuous mortal knights. Of the virtue of mortal knights. Ever seeking to emulate their, pro their progenitor, Eberash, Blood Dragon vampires were as much scourge upon the world as any other vampire. 
While they claimed to be honorable and sometimes spared those they fought, they were no friends of humanity and would readily kill those they deemed weak or without honor, though some were more merciful than others. Now, see, okay, so part of the reason I, I really like this, like, particular kind of vampire is the idea that I could very easily imagine this being the kind of vampire who would, like, like, I could make a character of this of this kind of vampire, right? Like, this dude who's, you know, maybe he's he's been, he's out, and he's quested for a long time, became a vampire through, uh, you know, mean, maybe he didn't even want to be a vampire, maybe he got kind of, like, tricked into it, or whatever. And, you know, he sated his bloodlust for a while, traveling around being a knight, and then after a while, it's just like, you know what, I'm just gonna go, like, retire to, like, a monastery, and maybe, like, rule over a little village or something, and just, like, chill. You know, he's just like, eh, you know, like, I could go out. I mean, people c seem to come and they find me because they, like, hear, oh, no, a vampire is ruling over these people and I have to go. So, like, some knight will just come, I'm here to destroy your vampire problem. And they're like, oh, uh, okay, yeah, he's up there. <laughs> and he's just, like, just, like, you know, hanging out, doing his thing. And then it's like, oh, cool, there's a knight here. He he wants to fight me. Cool, let's try, let's, let's try this. Let's, let's do this. And just you know messing around with them, and then <laughs> and then like the 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 knight like is trying to be all like brave and things like that. And he thinks he's got this. He thinks he thinks he's got it down, Batman. He he he's gonna he's gonna beat the crap out of this vampire. But then he just shows up and just gets his butt handed to him because it's like an ancient vampire with tons of experience, and he's not just like he's not just like evil. He's like yeah, I just got to hang out. I'm, I'm just living here. I like, occasionally I go down to the village and I'm like, hey, could you guys, like, donate some blood to me, please? Or maybe were there bandits? Are there bandits I can go drain or something? And he goes and he drains the bandits or whatever, and he's like, okay, I'm, I'm good for a while. And I would imagine the older the vampire gets and the more controlled they get, the longer they can go without having to, like actually do that. Maybe he hears, like, rumors about dragons, like, ooh, I'm gonna go drink that dragon's blood, and I'm gonna go cure my curse, basically, and then they're like, oh, okay. And then he goes, kills the dragon. Oh, maybe he has already killed a dragon, and now he's just, like, kind of hanging out. He's like, I don't really need to, like, drink a bunch of blood or anything. I kind of just, like, wanted to hang out here. Maybe, like, Chaos Raiders come in, and he's like, oh, okay, I guess I'll, I guess I'll drink some blood here. And they're, like, all, like, ah, oh, we are the powerful, scary Chaos Raiders, but he has, like, a bunch of skeletons with him, and he's just like, okay, yeah, yeah, sure. And he just, like, kind of surrounds them and just like, keeps putting more skeletons against... See, I, I, I'm, I'm having fun with, with the idea of this dude just being, like, basically pretty chill and just sort of hanging out and just being, like, a big swordsman, basically, just because... And then when people are like, well... I don't know, people seem terrified of him. Well, I mean, he is, he is a little vampire. Hello there, I'm a vampire. How are you doing today? Like, I, I, I don't... For some reason, I can easily imagine, like, a vampire of this lineage being, like, pretty chill or cool. But, like, it's hard to, like, imagine, like, a Von Karstein with the way they are being, like, all that cool and chill. I'm just always imagining them just being like, okay, it's time to kill. It's time to conquer! But then, like, the Blood Dragon dude is just like, I, I mean, I don't know. I kind of wanted to just ride my spooky horse and... You know, go about my business. I mean, I have human servants in the manor. That I don't, I don't really attack them. It's just like, like the knight comes up, to, like this grail knight, or like this like wannabe knight is kind of just like, oh, I'm here to save you people, and then like they're like, yeah, 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 yeah sure. Um, question: Are you going to tax us more than he does? Because he doesn't really tax us very much. We kind of been pretty prosperous because he just sort of like occasionally demands a little bit of blood, or you know like, you know like he wants us to like occasionally have feasts so that he can invite his human friends out here, or you know like I could actually imagine like a, a blood dragon like if he saved like uh, sort of like Ulrica, oh no not Ulrica um, Genevieve. Genevieve, like, how she saved the Emperor's life, so they just kind of let her exist. I kind of imagine, like, maybe, like, there's a blood dragon out there who's, you know, he, he's basically sufficiently past, like, the worst parts of his bloodlust. Occasionally, maybe he needs to feed, but he, uh, 
just sort of hangs out occasionally goes to court and is like uh yeah like what, what did you need and they're just like oh we we needed someone to like stomp on this dragon and like make him not attack us anymore and he's like oh yeah i can do i can totally do that um i'm gonna summon my deathly knights and uh yeah we'll, we'll, we'll go out and do that i don't know i just always find that kind of fun but uh So the fall of blood keep. So basically these guys were going around and they were pretending to be, you know, for a while they were all kind of gathered into a couple of different places and they were sort of acting like they weren't vampires within some, basically here. Many decades later, the witch hunter Gunther von Hell discovered the truth of the Order's fate and attacked the darkened Blood Keep with an army amassed from Weissenland and Reichland, supported by no less than four knightly orders. The siege lasted three years, during which the bloodshed was like nothing the soldiers of the Empire had seen. As they faced the fallen champions, they once counted as brothers. Their noble features twisted in psychotic bloodlust of their eyes glowed like hellfire. Many a time, the knights charged out from the gates of their fortress, crashing into the ranks of the Imperial army and slaughtered hundreds with each devastating attack. Yet the resolve of the Imperial troops was unbreakable, and they fought with determination against the ravenous vampires, slaying many of the monstrous warriors. Eventually, the Imperial troops managed to storm the castle, and the Knights of Blood Keep, unable to resist the onslaught of the vast army, were slain or scattered throughout the wilds, hunted by the vengeful soldiers of Van Hell for years, of Van Hell for years, Bloodkeep fell into ruin following the siege, and its evil masters passed into myth. Though the knights that once called Bloodkeep their home may have been defeated, they were not destroyed. Some escaped retribution, scattering across the lands of Empire Bretonia, Telia, and further afield. Accomplished with lance and sword, these fell warriors became dark mercenaries, solitary duelists, and fearsome raiders. Sometimes, guarding places like bridges and forts, challenging all who passed by to test their mettle and hone their skills. Many centuries after the fall of Blood Keep and the demise of the Order, whispers and rumors arose that Blood Keep was inhabited once more. Those who lived near the mountains spoke of nocturnal hunters troubling the Dwarven Holds. Gossip mongers claimed that the immortal knights once again feasted on human blood in ancient dusty halls, and the skeptical sentries patrol and skeletal sentries patrolled the ramparts. Some said that Wallach had return and that he had gathered his forces to wage war upon those who tried to destroy him. So, you know, these guys are doing all kinds of cool stuff. They were being, you know, vampires in a cool keep and things like that. Uh, and then guys found out about it and were like, hey, I don't like vampires. And then they decided to charge up there and, you know, like start fighting them and trying to kill them and stuff like that. Because they're rude. Um, and they defeated them and they made them like kind of run out and stuff like that. These are all the guys in Blood Keep. I kind of like to imagine the Blood Dragons as being not just the ones in Blood Keep, though. Like I... <clears throat> oh, ooh, excuse me. I sort of like to imagine them more as like dudes who are um, yeah, partially from Blood Keep, but also you know like maybe just from like all all over the place, just like knights and things like that. Like maybe uh, I kind of like the idea of like um like maybe like a Night Panther or something like that being turned into one of these guys, and then he's like an evil Panther dragon, and I think that would be kind of fun. And then there's just a little bit more here to describe. And this is going into their appearance. The Knights of Blood Keep are a macabre, horrific reflection of the virtuous Templars that Walla corrupted. Blood dragon vampires that hail from elsewhere are equally twisted, many being once prodigal sons and prides of their families, or realms fallen tragically into darkness. Their shining armor befouled, and their names dashed from records, forsaken by the light and their people as they forsook their oaths. Many of these knights were custom-made armor crafted by the finest artisan by commission, sometimes wearing the heraldry they bore in their mortal lives, and though many hide among human knights and maintain an illusion of 
mortality. Many are also desolate hermetic fiends who stalk the wilds or dwell in caves training almost constantly. Though the Knights of Bloodkeep retain the image of dragons as their symbol, uh, of the dragon as their symbol, it is the only remnant of their former selves. Their armor now encrusted with terrifying images of death and slaughter. Their blades are fell weapons inscribed with dark runes chased with precious metals and fashioned in the likeness of evil beasts. The blazons and crests of blood keep take the shape of dragons and dragon wings. The knights do not ride flesh and blood horses, but charge into battle upon evil nightmares with fire eyes and foated breath. Clad in thick, barding painted with disturbing icons of necromantic power. Well, yeah, they need the icons of necromantic power because they're not very good at the necromancy themselves. It's like, okay, I, well, if I paint the necromancy onto my armor, then it has to be good, right? But yeah, I, I really love the blood dragons just as a concept, just like these vampiric knights. I just think that's really neat. Um, I, I do like vampires in general. I just kind of think they're kind of neat. I But I like the idea of like the sort of tragic, still somewhat heroic vampire like the guy who's gonna, you know, uh, like sort of not really like fight and kill peasants just cause he, he's gonna, if he fights it's for like, at least a somewhat good reason. And I like the idea of like, because the whole idea is like, if you kill and drink the blood of a dragon, supposedly it will sate your thirst for a very long time. I like the idea of like, they're basically being like a vampire lord who's done this and now he's just sort of like, you know, sort of hanging out. I don't know why, just for some reason that's very um, amusing to me. And I think I'm going to write a vampire character who's just like a blood knight who sort of defends like maybe the local area, or maybe just like inhabits the dark woods. And, oh, actually, that would be kind of cool, like, for, like, models to, like, kill, like, so, like, he just ki keeps killing beast men and mutants and things like that, and using those for, like, the fodder, like, the zombies and things like that in his armies. I think that would be, like, really neat, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I think, I think I have kind of an idea forming in my head. Maybe he's still, like, because maybe if he was tricked into being a vampire, or, like, however... Uh, maybe he's still fairly um, normal in certain respects, but it's like now he has to sort of embrace like a slightly darker path. And of course, I want, I kind of like the idea of him like, of course, it would be silly to put Kali in Warhammer, but I still want to put Kali in Warhammer like a, like a goddess with like the skulls and stuff like that. But she's actually about like redemption and peace and things like that. It's just that she looks fearsome. And I like using that image for like, a vampire lord I, I like he's like oh yeah no this is the goddess i worship now because she accepts me in my spooky ways but i use my spooky powers to defend people and um you know generally be a good fellow and maybe maybe he like falls in love with a mortal woman or, or you know even a mortal guy because ooh, why not and then, you know, like, he has to, like, sort of, like, live a mostly normal life because he's like, okay, well, I can't just go out raiding because they're going to be upset with me. <laughs> you know, I think something like that would be kind of fun. Anyway, that's just a little bit about uh, Blood Dragons, who are my favorite uh, lineage of vampires in Warhammer Fantasy. I think they're really cool, and I, I kind of like the idea now of, like, having these vampires who go out into the woods and, like, kill beastmen and chaos worshippers and revive them to protect like towns of the empire or Bretonia or something like that. I think that would be kind of cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, lore dive and cat talk about cool vampire stuff. And I hope that you all have a wonderful time and a wonderful day. And, you know, God bless you and all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Hopefully I'll have leveled up this lady by then. Get at least a little bit more. Okay, bye-bye.